Good morning, everybody. Um, it's a cold one. It's a cold one here in South Texas. We woke up and it was probably about 34 degrees. It's probably about 37 right now. Oh man. The day after Christmas, you know, we just went through a hard freeze, you know, these last couple of days. And uh, I'm just getting in here to explore. The experts are telling me I'm not going to be able to get into the back bay today because it's a real low tide. So I'm probably not going to try to get in there. However, I will go check it out and make that determination for myself. But as it goes today, we're just going to be sticking to the river mainly, throwing soft plastics. I got a, a Fred full in redfish every day out on uh, the popping cork, and I got a voodoo shrimp on a, some Power Pro braid and a 30 pound leader. All right, I'll let you know how it goes once we're a little bit further down the creek. GoPro, stop recording. Now oh, we're off in it, man. We're uh, losing civilization, which is completely fine with me. Off the beaten track. Um, fishing has been closed in all the places that I go to, everywhere, all the time you see me fishing the same spot. Well, due to the freeze, we can't really fish that area until further notice. So no better time to come and check this place out. I've been over here, you know, in my truck. I'm just casting off the bank. Um, this morning I went and paid a visit to my dad. He's over here in the Veterans Memorial Cemetery and I left him a little something for Christmas and I figured no time like the present than to come and paddle this river now that I have Monday off today. And uh, I've been meaning to come out here and check this spot out for a hot minute. It's just unfortunate that the timing is all off, that this water is unfortunately too low. But I don't know what to look for, you know, I've never been out here, so I don't know. And uh, I'm not the kind of guy that's just going to take anybody's word for it. I'm hard-headed, i got to come out here and see for myself if the water is indeed low. Can't get back into the back bay. So that's what this is all about. <clears throat> this is a scout mission more than a fishing mission. And I'm more than happy to bring you guys along for the journey. I'll let you guys know when I get to the mouth. GoPro, stop recording. I think I'm closing in on the mouth. From what I can see on Google Earth, those tanks are sitting right across from the entrance. Like I said, I haven't been here. Somebody laid some mats down back here. Some heavy equipment at one point. But, like I said, I've just scuffed this spot out on Google Earth. I've always heard a lot of good stuff about it. Haven't been back here in quite a while. I used to come back here with my grandfather, but he had a boat and we would launch off the Nueces Bay and get back in here when I was a tiny young child. And good memories of coming back in here with my grandfather. It used to be one of his favorite places. And uh, over the course of time, you know, all this became private area and it's been harder and harder to access this place back in here. But anywho, it looks like I'm coming up on them now. Those are the tanks that I've seen on Google Earth, and it looks like the cut is about to come in or over here on the right-hand side. And that looks like the shortcut to get in there. But I will just have to wait and see. It's a waiting game. Like I said, I don't know what I'm looking for at this point. I'm just looking for things that I've seen on Google Earth. Anywho, go, go, uh, GoPro, stop recording. All right, seeing some new stuff for the first time. Looking for any signs of action back in here. Super boggy down at the bottom. Ain't getting out of the boat unless I absolutely have to over here. And that cut to get in here should be somewhere right around in here from what I've seen. I'm on the hunt for it. GoPro, stop recording. So we made it. Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad. Give this a shot. All right, GoPro, stop recording. So I made it in here. And the first sign I'm looking for is birds. And I see birds up ahead of me. So I'm gonna go check out that area. The water is really low back in here. It's only a couple of inches. I'm seeing some stuff across the top. So we're gonna come and check out this area for a little bit. 
sunk up to my knees just getting into here. I wouldn't advise coming out here alone. Anyways, I'll get back to you guys. Go for it, stop recording. The sun is coming out. Things are getting warmed up. I'm looking on Google Earth, you know, now that I'm in here, um, where I think they might be stacked up at, being that the water was real freezing cold. And right now the water's dropped out of here, oh, only a couple of inches. Um, I think they're gonna be in a little bit deeper water. So I'm targeting a little bit of, of a deeper cut in here. Like I said, I've never been in here. I don't know what to expect, man. It could get nothing today. I mean, I could hit the money, you know, the money hole. However, right now I'm just navigating through this area trying to get to where I'm looking on Google Earth and trying to see, you know, where uh, things match up accordingly. All I'm doing right now is seeking out a little bit deeper water. I'll let you know when I get there. GoPro, stop recording. Very peaceful out here. Very beautiful. And man, this place is just 10 minutes down from my house. Why haven't I been out here more often? I always heard horror stories of this place. Oh, you'll get stuck, this, that, the other. Water's way too low. You'll never, you'll never make it. I do see something over there. worth a cast. That's probably nothing. Little bait fish running in and out of these little cuts. GoPro, stop recording. Right, well, I think I found the deepest cut in this place. And uh, I'm just going to throw a couple of casts right here. And then come up the stream a little bit and try this little area for a little while. See what happens. If I don't get anything, then we're out of here pretty early. If I do catch something out here, we'll probably fish all day. Right now I'm just throwing the voodoo shrimp. And I'm kind of just twitching it nice and slowly, you know, slow retrieve in the cold water. It's barely bumping it off the bottom. Letting it sink back down and bringing it back to life and so on and so forth. Probably be the last cast and I'll try it up a little further. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful out here. Even if we don't catch any fish, man, it's freaking beautiful out here. This would come out and be one of my recreational spots, and I just want to get out of the house after work and come out here for a paddle during the summer. We've got longer daylight hours. Maybe higher tides. GoPro, stop recording. Okay, so coming in here, I sank up to my knees. 
and mud and that's no good especially being out here alone if you get stuck you're in some major trouble um guessing is uh everybody uses that entrance right there so that ground is real soft and what i'm going to do is just come and try to come over here to the side try to push myself up there and alleviate as much of this silt as i can Might be good. Okay, not bad. Shit, that's a lot better than getting in here. Now I'm back out into the river. That was a little bit more work than I was hoping it was going to be. Anyways, we're heading back to the truck and we're going to go try a different spot. A spot that has not been closed down by Texas Parks and Wildlife. And hopefully we'll have better luck over there because I haven't seen any bait not one fish popping nothing just a mysterious mud cloud next to my kayak and that was about it out here but like I said this was an exploratory run I just wanted to see you know how, how long it's gonna take me to get out here the trouble I got to get into to get in there and out vice versa anyways I'll see y'all back in the truck GoPro stop recording industrial heaven Welcome, welcome, welcome to my oasis. I'm just floating down this uh, river, kind of using the current to pull me, which isn't very much. Um, just barely paddling along, man. I'm just uh, cruising. About to head home, pick up my boy. About to go try for a different area fishing from shore anyways it's good to get out and get a little paddle in I've always wanted to come back out here and I'll definitely be back out here again I'll just wait for the right tide to come back out there's the tanks GoPro stop recording <laughs> 